Hello, teachers, Sean, friends, and fans. I am so happy that you are here. Today, we have another educational video coming at you. We're gonna be talking about something to improve your grammar skills. Today, we will be talking about English participles. Before we jump into this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my friend, Hung. He won last month's gift card giveaway. So let's take a look at what Hung has to say. Hello, my name is Hung. Uh, I come from Vietnam and I'm the winner of the February giveaway from Teacher Sean. Uh, I filmed this video to say thank you to Mr. Sean for giving me the gift card. And uh, I was going to spend them on the ebooks I have my eyes on. And uh, to the rest of you, um, if you want, you can join the giveaway. It's free. Uh, so um, join and maybe you can win like me. Well, Hung, I am so happy that you get to read those books and I'm even happier to have you a part of my community. I'm very happy for you. And if you guys who are not Hung would like to win this month's gift card giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell for notifications, like this video, and leave a comment down below. You do all three of those and you're automatically a part of this, uh, this gift card giveaway. And you know what? I hope that you win. If you're interested in having your shout out featured here on this channel, all you have to do is reach out to me on the Facebook page. There's a link in the description down below. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. So let's learn some English. So, Participles are super duper important when it comes to learning English. Now, they're mostly used in reading and writing, however, they also are used in speech as well. Now, participles give you a little bit of style, maybe some swagger. They add just a little bit of color into your language. What is a participle? Well, a participle is a verb form that can be used to create passive voice. It also helps create verb tenses, as well as uses verbs as adjectives. And I said those in, in kind of a roundabout order from the way we're going to talk about those. So let me go through that again. They can, are verbs that can be used as adjectives. They create verb tenses, as well as they create the passive voice. Now, when we break participles down, they can be found in two categories. Those two types of participles are present participle, ending in ing, that ing sound, past participles, usually ending in ed, d, t, en, or n, that ed, the d, the t, the n, and the n. Now, let's take a look at participles being used as adjectives. We can see both the present participle and the past. In the verb to rise, the present participle is the rising sun. The past participle would be the risen sun. Then, to boil, the boiling water, the boiled water. To break, the breaking news, the broken news. To cook, the cooking ham the cooked ham. So in these sentences, we can see that the verb describes the noun just like an adjective would. Uh, what kind of sun is it? It's the rising sun. Let's take a look at a few real life sentences using participles as adjectives to help us understand how we can visualize them. The running man is a silly dance. Don't wake the sleeping dog. The president's words were shocking. There's no use crying over spilled milk. He's hiding behind a closed door. A steak is best when properly cooked. Now, let's take a look at participles being used to form verb tenses, meaning past or present. 
So this is the most common and the most simple way that we use participles all the time. Anytime you're conjugating a verb tense, you are using a participle. We change the verb by adding ing at the end if it's a present tense. Now, if it's past tense, what do we add? Well, we add ed, d, t, en, or n. Those are the five ones you're gonna add most of the time if it's a past tense word. Let's take a look at a few examples of sentences that use participles to change the tense of the verb. I am walking to the store. I walked to the store. I am driving to work. I have driven to work. I am stopping this. I stopped this. So these are pretty basic and I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Uh, if you would like, you could check out my, uh, my past tense verb uh, video or you could check... Yeah. Do I, did I make a past tense verb video? Huh? Hello, darkness. Uh -oh. Let me check, dude. Let me check, dude. So these are pretty easy and very, very basic to understand. So uh, if you do need more help on this, just let me know in the comment section below. Maybe I'll make a, a simple past and present tense uh, vid nouns video uh, if you want. But I'm not going to do that unless you want it. So if you do, let me know. Now the last part here is going to be about passive voice. Past particles are also used to form that passive voice. A verb is said to be in the passive voice when the subject does not perform the action uh, of the verb, but has that action performed on it. For example, the car was taken to the shop. This is an example of a verb was taken in the passive voice. The action was done to the subject, the car. So here, when the subject of the sentence is acting out the verb, the verb is said to be an active voice. For example, Kitty took the car to the auction. This is an example of a verb took in the active voice. The subject, Kitty, did the action. In order to form the passive voice, the passive voice needs to be similar to what you see. Okay, let's take a look at a few examples that use this structure. The convict was captured after just two hours on the run. The cows are milked once a day. My parents will be driven to the house by John. So now that we've just spent a lot of time learning about participles, let's ask ourselves the question, why? Why is all of this important? Is it important or is it, is it just something that I can push aside and forget about? Well, participles are super important because they play a huge part in the English language. This is because adjectives, verb tenses, and passive voice are extremely important when you're reading, when you're writing, and when you're speaking to other people. By understanding these, we are really doing ourselves a huge favor. Okay, so like all the other videos, I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of affirmation. I just wanted to let you know that I am so proud of you and I'm so happy that you are here. You are taking active steps in learning English and slowly but surely, you will get better all the time. As long as you keep practicing, I know that you will succeed and I'm so proud of you. Good job. Now, for those of you who are still watching this video, I just wanted to take a quick moment to say thank you so much 
the longer you stick around, the more it helps me get seen by other people. It really does a lot for my algorithm to have you here this long, and it makes me so happy that you're still here. Uh, so thank you so much. All of this could not be done without people like you, so thank you. And if you haven't done it yet, please uh, subscribe to the channel. It really goes a long way. Slowly but surely, I'm trying to, to make this a, uh, you know, a, a part-time job for me, so to speak. Um, because I really think I can be of use to you and, and other people like you who are still here watching. So, uh, real fast, just a reminder, I am giving away $25 at the end of this month. If you want to win, all you have to do is like, comment, subscribe. It's very simple. Uh, and if you're already here, you might as well do it. All right, until next time, take care.